Hello, uh, welcome to this video about uh, a TRS-80 emulator. Uh, I should try this program first, uh, then we should look into it more. It's a program that plots a sign function. As you can see, it looks a bit uh, strange here and there. For instance, here and here. And here, and some points are very long here, uh, or high. Now I press uh, break here, F11, and then I can clear the screen using F12 on this emulator and list the program. Uh, the first thing the program does is uh, on 5. It's basic here, it's basic 2, level 2 for TRS-80. And uh, the first, it clears the screen, and then on 7 I define a variable that is 2 times pi divided by 128. And it's because the width of the screen is 128 8 pixels, and uh, that is 2 times 4 times arctan of 1 divided by 128. That is to speed up computation because multiplication is faster than division and doing long computations. Then uh, I have here a loop on starting on line 10 for i equal uh, as uh, it goes from 0 to 127 and then I set the point on i and then I compute uh, an expression here, so I scale the sine function to the screen. And then I take next i, and then uh, I print at uh, 3, it's line 3, uh, because I take 3 times 64, that's 3 lines, plus 45, so it's about here, this sinus text comes, and then I have 4 to go to 4 to just to not uh, print anything. So, and then this I had to use semicolon here because otherwise it deletes the line of the screen. So we can see this again here. Uh, but it seems to be buggy, and uh, it does say here in the level 3 basic that it was uh, Bill Gates that wrote uh, everything. He's the author of level 3, so maybe he was the author of level 2 also. So it could be Bill Gates' uh, bugs here, but it might also be some bug in the emulator. I don't know this yet. Um, but uh, it's a very good uh, emulator, I think. I've not tested every function yet. I didn't use TRS-80 when I was young, because in Sweden they were not very common. Uh, they were also called Trash 80 because uh, they uh, suffer from radio interference, so they could easily crash. But this is very stable. Uh, so I should just show here how to edit a line here because it has an editor here. Uh, then you press space here, and then I thought I should change. Uh, this text here, it says to pi. I should change that to tau to be more modern uh, mathematics. And then uh, I press here uh, 5. 5 and D. That deletes uh, that word. And then I do insert here and I type how. And then there is a way to stop the insertion mode, but uh, that doesn't work on this keyboard. I have a US keyboard, but uh, I think uh, they have to fix that in this emulator. Then we could uh, uh, edit this again, I think. I'll, I'll look at the program here. <coughs> um, yeah, now it says tau div 128. That's good. 
Today we should change uh, line 22. So we should change that uh, to tau there too. So I press space here to get forward. And then when you are at the start of the text you want to change, you press here the number of characters and uh, D to delete. So I say 5 D. And then I type I for insert. And then tau. And then I press enter. And then it type the rest of the line. So uh, now uh, we are changing it to tau div 128. Uh, so we should run this now here. Well, it seems to work well. Yes, and uh, I do this here, and then uh, I could show here uh, how to uh, oop, reset it, because you use uh, hard reset, you use shift F9 on this emulator. They had a reset button on the back side, I think. Uh, then memory size here, you just press enter and you get the largest memory that computes itself, but you can have less memory too. Then it says here RS L2 basic, uh, Radio Shack level 2 basic, ready. Uh, now our program is forgotten here. Uh, but uh, they do have support for cassette and uh, diskettes too in this uh, TRS-80 emulator. Uh, for I run it on dynamite. Uh, it's a small computer which I should show here now. Uh, dynamite, uh, dino, duinomite. It's called duinomite. Uh, so the duinomite is here. You see it here. So it's just a small computer, and then you have VGA and the PS2 connector and. Uh, this is for, just for power supply now. It's a USB power supply. But it goes to a computer. Um, you use that when you program it. Uh, then I have another uh, that's just called Duinomite. And that uh, is here. And uh, here. And that has uh, an extension board with VGA, uh, sound, video, uh, sound again but another connector and ps2 uh, and that uh, is very practical because this also has sound but it's just pins so you have to uh, uh, you have to uh, it, i think it's here you have to connect them using uh, well, well, normal cables <coughs> uh, patch cables for electronics but this is more comfortable. So I think this is a better buy, especially if you build it into some box or something. Uh, but this is also very practical. But uh, right now this does not work because of they have forgotten to program the bootloader. So I cannot, but I should fix that. So uh, yes, I can uh, try to write another program here. Uh, well, I could reset it again using the reset button this time. It has so it says M size enter. Uh, the screen complains here because it is a strange resolution, but it goes away after time. It has uh, 64 characters wide and 16 characters um, rows. Um, so you just type a program like this and then instead of print you can shorten that like this. And then uh, you can type here uh, my uh, name on the internet oftentimes on github and uh, scratch in other places. Uh, 
but on uh, YouTube I think I have uh, this name uh, mobile for you and then uh, can do like this then I can do 20 go to 10 then we can list this and then we can run this now and that was not very funny uh, so we have to do list here and edit 10 and we'll go to the end it converts this question mark to print automatically um, but it's a very interpreted basic you insert semicolon. I'm not used to a US keyboard but I have a two US keyboards. I have probably more too. Um, now we should run this again. Now it's a bit more funny but not very good. So I break it here. Then we could add a line here 15 and uh, print a space there and see how that looks uh, that looks a bit boring because it doesn't move that much uh, so uh, <coughs> we edit that Then I do insert space and we finish there. Now we run it again. Now it goes well here, but it's too fast, so uh, we stop it again here, break it. And then uh, I should uh, put in a delay here. So I put in uh, 17 for I equal one to a thousand we could say then uh, next uh, you can have several but you have to use colon in basic it's not uh, C or Java that's a type here colon in basic uh, and then we check this out, see how that works. But that's too slow, so uh, we have to edit it again. Maybe you could shorten these commands, but I don't know so much about this level 2 basic for TRS-80. But uh, if you look here, uh, uh, edit. 17. So I go here. Um, I think it's easier to delete the whole number. So I take 4D. Uh, nothing happened. Oh. Um, well, I guess I have to do it again. Hmm. Let's see if can get here. Oh, I tried it. So four D. I deleted it, and then insert. And I tried twenty here. Now we see works here so that's a bit more funny so that's a bit advertisement for my various internet accounts mm -hmm. okay uh, I should do some more demos later when I've learned more about this emulator but uh, bye for now
uh, by the way this computer is very cheap it cost like 200 crowns uh, about 20 dollars i think or 20 euros almost um okay so bye for now uh, wait i forgot one thing i have another trs8 here uh, which is uh, uh you don't see it here the um uh, it's uh they marketed a lot it's called sharp here but uh, they uh, this is uh, uh, the original and then they call this trs80 when they marketed it and uh, this also works here but i don't think you see anything here but uh, it's uh, also trs80 but a smaller model but uh, they called a lot of computer for TRS-80, but this emulator is TRS-80 model 1. Um, okay, bye.